guys today we are going to be doing Ching Ching number 85 so let's just get right into it it's a very hot day today I got my windows open but unfortunately there's no like breeze coming through so I'm kind of hot all right so the first thing that we have on my list was a set of two vintage toy trucks these were by a company called pyro p-y-r-o and they were made of plastic um, the one was a ferry boat and the other was a truck. So they were like kind of military related. Um, Eric and I won a tray of these at an auction and they ended up being worth a little decent amount. Um, these ones, just two of those sold for $34.99. So that is awesome. Uh, next item, this actually went out of the country. This was a set of alabaster grapes with a grape cluster made of like um, those marbled alabasters. It was on the smaller side. It wasn't like those large grapes that I had um, gotten recently at a yard sale. Those did sell as well, but we're not quite up to that cha-ching yet. Um, so these ones here I also got at an auction, I'd say for less than $5, and those sold for $29.99. Next item also came from an auction. This was for a sealed pack, still sealed, vintage He-Man Masters of the Universe um, little accessory pack. So this would have been He-Man's like um, sword and shield and stuff like that. So this was just like randomly laying on a tray at the auction with just like some other stuff mixed in. But I knew right away what it was just because I do know some, you know, vintage toys and everything like that. And I love the fact that it was still sealed because that's just hard to come by. And people are always looking for the accessories that go to the vintage um, action figures and stuff like that. So I thought this one was really cool that it was sealed. Anyway, it sold for $69.99. So that was pretty awesome. Next, we have an Avon perfume. This was by... Um, herb ledger this was brand new still sealed um this one here i'm pretty sure i picked up at a yard sale for two dollars and i know there's so many people that say avon doesn't sell there's no money in avon that's not the case guys that is not the case um at one point i was adding up how much i had um made on just avon sales and this was like i think it was sometime last year i had started adding up and it was like a thousand dollars in just avon sales so <laughs> i definitely do not look past avon um this perfume sold for 89 dollars and 99 cents so it's definitely a good one if you ever come across it not all Avon sells though. I mean, you can't just say like, oh, Shell Bell said Avon sells and just buy like any Avon you see. Definitely look it up first. But I do have a Bolo video on Avon as well if you want to take a look at that. A uh, next item we have is a vintage from 1973. This was a Paragon Cruel um, Needlepoint Kit of a Family Tree that sold for $19.99. Um, I probably came from a yard sale. I probably paid like 50 cents or a dollar for it. This next item was a kind of weird one. Um, I got this at a kind of like a churchyard sale. I'm pretty sure I paid a quarter for it. It was an old Pentel Technoclick mechanical pencil. Um, there are older pencils and pens people buy, people collect them. It's kind of crazy. I have seen sold listings of older pens and pencils that have sold for a lot of money. So whenever I come across them, if they're cheap, I just pick them up. Um, so yeah, this one here sold for $19.99. And like I said, I probably paid either a quarter or 50 cents for it. Next item we have is a vintage like hinged jewelry box. I think we've all maybe had one of these at some point in our lives or knew someone who did like a mom or a grandma um this one's by countess farrington it was a um like the hard shell uh jewelry box um eric won this at an auction he actually won two of them and they both did sell so if you ever come across these and they're on the cheaper side um you know like a quarter or 50 cents at a yard sale i'd pick them up it didn't sell for a whole lot it sold for 17 dollars and 99 cents but still um he probably paid maybe like a dollar for it next we have a this was a really interesting looking bowl and that's why i picked it up it was by a company called 
Arcarac and it was like a hexagonal bowl. It reminded me of something that would have been in like a Beetlejuice, like the dining room kitchen scene or something like that. Uh, just the, the look of it was just really cool. Um, I picked this up at a yard sale a long time ago. This did sit for a long time. I said I paid a dollar for it and it sold for $18.99. Nice item we have. This was a really cool set of bookends. These were Ibex brass bookends. Eric won these at an auction. Can't remember exactly what he paid for them, but it obviously wasn't like a lot. Um, those sold for $92.99. There are some bookends that can sell for really good money. These ones here I thought were just really unique though and cool and interesting looking, so that probably helped. And also brass. I feel like some brass bookends can sell well. I, Eric and I just picked up a set of butterfly brass bookends at a yard sale and they were consistently selling for like 40 some dollars. So um, definitely if you come across any interesting bookends, I would take a look, look them up, see what they're worth. Uh, next item we have is a lot of three vintage Paper Magic Halloween sticker sets. Um, these sold for $12.99 and I got those at a yard sale. I think I paid like a quarter a piece for them. Uh, next we have an Estee Lauder lipstick in the shade Ironic. This sold for $29.99 and I got that at an estate sale. I paid $1 for it. Um, I had purchased a whole bunch of Estee Lauder um, lipsticks and stuff like that at this estate sale and all of the makeup was a dollar and it was new. Now with lipsticks and stuff like that, um, there are some um, that can sell really well and it doesn't even necessarily matter what brand it is. If they discontinue a certain shade and someone, you know, loves that shade, um, they're going to go to eBay to look for it kind of thing. So I think that's why that one sold so well. Uh, next we have a vintage from 1992 Creepy Crawlers oven. Eric won this at an auction. Um, I'm pretty sure it had come with molds and stuff like that, but we sold the molds separately because people are always looking, it seems like always looking for the molds and, you know, to list the molds with the oven and people maybe not wanting the oven and it's going to cost more because the oven's bigger and bulky kind of thing. We lotted those out. So the oven did sell and that sold for $19.99. Next we have a vintage from 1978. Philly's Fanatic shirt. I think I got this at either a filler bag rummage sale or a yard sale. So I probably paid in the grand scheme of things maybe a dollar for it. That sold for $45.99. That did take a while to sell, which surprised me. I thought it was really cool, really unique. Um, definitely not one I've ever seen before in my lifetime, uh, but it did take a while to sell that. Next we have an Avon lipstick in the shade Divine Wine that sold for $12.99. I have a lot of Monster High accessories. At one point I purchased um, like a little basket full of Monster High dolls and accessories at a yard sale for $20 and I sold I think I sold all the dolls. I might have one doll left that hasn't sold yet, but I sold all the dolls. I matched it up with all of their accessories and then I lotted up the rest of the accessories that didn't go with any of the dolls that were in the basket. That sold for $14.99. Next we have a No Boundaries. This was a clear miniature backpack. Um, I got this at Walmart on clearance and I think I paid I think I paid like $3 for it on clearance and that sold for $19.99. I sold a Coach Ashley Satine purse and matching wallet. I got this at a yard sale. I think I paid $10 for it and that sold for $59.99. Alright, so we got more of those craft cheese singles boxes. I told you guys I had so many of these. Eric had won so many of them at an auction. And, um, you know, we will eventually get, get to the end of these craft cheese singles boxes. But I have been finding some at yard sales here, um, you know, while I'm out yard selling. So that's awesome that I'm still finding them. Um, 
someone purchased three of them for a total of $65.97. Um, next we have, this was a set of two Pier 1 skeleton ornaments. Those sold for $19.99. They came from an auction. Eric had one like a flat of just like Halloween decorations and ornaments and stuff like that. And I think there was another one in here as well. Uh, next item did go to a subscriber named De Denise. This was a Winnie the Pooh Tupperware tumbler with a lid. Um, at one point, again, Eric won like a flat of um, Winnie the Pooh related items at an auction. And that sold for $12.99. Next, oh, this was so cute. This was a Royal Sealy Miss Kitty cookie jar. I found this at a yard sale. It didn't have a price on it. And like in my mind, I was thinking, oh my gosh, they probably want so much money for this. And I will say guys, like I used to be so, cause like I get anxiety a lot and it's really hard for me sometimes to like, I know it seems so simple, but sometimes it's hard for me to like ask people like how much something is. That's why I so dread when people don't have things priced at a yard sale. You got to think about those people who, you know, have anxiety and have a hard time like asking people questions. So I was afraid to ask, but I am starting to like force myself to, to ask these questions to people. Um, and so I did and they said, I think it was, I think I paid $4 for it. I have $4 in my head. $4 for this beautiful cookie jar. That sold for $89.99. It was really hard to sell that one because it was so stinking cute. Okay, so the next item was another lot of two Pier 1 Halloween ornaments. These were awesome. These were glittery jack-o'-lanterns and the stems had this like twirly bit, but you could like hang them, you know, by their stems. They were so pretty. Those sold for $19.99. Next, we have a pair of Winnie the Pooh Lennox candlesticks. Eric won these at an auction. Those sold for $129.99. So that's awesome. Um, a lot of Winnie the Pooh Lennox stuff can sell really well. So if you ever come across any Lennox pieces that are specifically Winnie the Pooh, definitely take the time to look them up. Uh, next we have a, this was a set of, was a, it was a fork and a spoon, a wooden fork and spoon. Um, they kind of had like an African type of look to them. I picked these up at a yard sale. They did take a while to sell. Um, they weren't like those large wooden spoons and forks you kind of get for like decorations to hang on like your, your kitchen wall or anything like that. They were much smaller. Um, those sold for $12.99 and I'd say I paid like 50 cents for those. Uh, next we have, this is a vintage Cabbage Patch Kids heart sensor monitor. So this goes with a specific Cabbage Patch Kids doll. Uh, it was actually a round of doll that Eric won at an auction. Um, it obviously didn't go to the doll that he won. So we listed it. It actually was worth a little bit. It sold for $14.99. So it was kind of like a little bit of a bonus. Uh, next we have a Victoria's Secret a tiger print tankini bathing suit top that sold for $12.99. Okay, so these next items, oh my gosh, there's so many, went to a subscriber. These went to Jackie. Jackie, I feel like I should just give you your own cha-ching video. She went shopping hardcore um, this day. And Jackie, she does buy a lot of stuff from me. And I'm so thankful for that, Jackie. Thank you for shopping my eBay store. Um, so we're gonna go through everything that Jackie purchased during this shopping spree that she went on. Okay, so the first item that she purchased was a pair of Torrid Jaggings. Those sold for $25.99 and those probably came from a yard sale. Uh, next item was a pair of Clark's Slingback Clogs. Again, I'm pretty sure these came from a yard sale. Those sold for, again, $25.99. 
She did purchase one of my Craft Cheese Singles boxes um, that sold for $21.99. That's what I was selling them for singly. I'm telling you guys, if you ever find these Craft Cheese Singles boxes, people are looking for them. Everybody wants the Craft Cheese Singles boxes. Okay, so next was a lot of two Avon lipsticks in the shade uh, Seduction. These sold for $12.99. A lot of my Avon items did come from an auction. Uh, next item was a necklace. This is by someone named Irwin Pearl. It was a really pretty enamel necklace with these little heart charms. You can actually remove the charms on it, so that was neat. Um, pretty sure that came from a yard sale as well. Uh, that sold for $25.99. We also have a set of two Avon lipsticks in Brilliant Berry that sold for $9.99. This next item was like a little silver heart, kind of like a scarf slider, like you could, um, you know, wrap a scarf around it and, you know, move it up and down type of thing if you're like, you know, wearing it around your neck. That sold for $7.99 and I think that came, um with some jewelry and stuff that I had won at an auction. Uh, next we have a set of two Avon lipsticks in the shade Posy Pink. Those sold for $29.99. Again, like I said, there are some shades, certain shades of lipsticks that sell higher than others. Uh, next we have another set of Avon lipsticks. These were in Sheer Light Peach. Those sold for $10.99. We have another set of two Avon lipsticks in the shade Pout. That sold for $12.99. Um, another set of two lipsticks uh, by Avon. These were in Impactful Poppy was the shade of those. That sold for $25.99. And then the last thing she purchased was another set of two Avon lipsticks in the shade Glitzy. That sold for $9.99. So that was a crazy day. I remember that day. Like my phone was like cha-ching, 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 cha-ching. I was like, what is going on? And then I looked and I was like, oh my gosh, Jackie is shopping. <laughs> so that is so awesome. I cannot say thank you enough. And I also want to reiterate, guys, you never, don't ever feel like you ever have to buy anything from me, okay? Like it's amazing when I get um, subscribers that purchase stuff from me, but you don't ever feel like you have to, okay? I just want to make that clear. Clear. Um, next we have a, oh this this sat for a long time guys. I always seem to come across the, these things by Andrea by Sadek and their stuff is always so pretty but the resale value of the stuff just really isn't all that fantastic I feel like and it sometimes sits for like ever. So this rabbit sat forever. I got this at an auction I believe like a long time ago um, but it finally did sell and that sold for $12.99. Next we have a cardigan by a company called Hampshire Studio. That sold for $16.99. It was brand new with tag and that came from the Facebook Marketplace garbage bag of clothing. Uh, next we have a Lush perfume. This came in one of my Lush subscription boxes. This was in the scent Tramp. That sold for $29.99. I sold a set of these sherbet glasses. These are Crystal Day Arche Long Chomp. These sold for $36.99. They came from an auction. I'm pretty sure I paid a dollar for those. Uh, next we have a pair of Ariat Leather Clogs. These were really pretty. I think these came from a yard sale and those sold for $39.99. I feel like it might have been a church yard sale. I think I might have paid $2 for those. Uh, next we have a vintage, this is from the 80s, Jaws shirt. This was actually a kid's size. Had it been an adult size, I feel like it probably would have sold for a lot more. Um, I got this at a church sale as well, so I probably paid maybe a quarter, 50 cents for it, and that sold for $29.99. Uh, next we have a Mont Blanc um, briefcase. Won this at an auction, I'd say for less than $20, and that sold for $86. We sold a 
pen spool. Um, this was like an assembly real part. Eric won this at an auction and that sold for $44.99. I sold a leather Margot crossbody purse. Purchased this at a yard sale. I think I paid a dollar for it. And that sold for $39.99. I sold a vintage from, I think this was in 1986, the Howling VHS. Got this at a fill a bag rummage sale and that sold for $12.99. I sold, these next two items did go to the same person. I don't think that it was a subscriber though because I didn't see any like messages um, attached to um, that sale but there was a Chico's zebra print top that sold for $9.99. Chico's is again a brand their clothing is so pretty but the resale value just is not there and then the other um, top was by a company called Designs by Jun. This was so pretty that one sold for $19.99. Next we have a set of two vintage putts sheeps. These weren't like the little tiny putts sheeps you normally see. These ones were big. Um, Eric and I found these at a yard sale. They were a dollar a piece. I paid two dollars for these putts sheep and they sold for a hundred and two dollars and fifty cents. So that was definitely an instance of someone was having a yard sale and they were selling for someone else and they did not know um, what they had type of thing. Um, next we have a vintage. This was called a Big Mac uh, work shirt. This was from JC JCPenney's. Um, Big Mac, not not like the, the McDonald's burger. Uh, that sold for $25.99 and that came from a thrift store. Next we have an Ellie Smith Moon and Stars. This was like a round covered um, like butter dish. That sold for $25.99 and that did come from an auction. And then the last thing I have also came from an auction. This was for a set of Holt Howard Kitty Cat Salt and Pepper Shakers. Those sold for $32. So that is everything for um, this Cha Ching. Um, a couple of things that I have to talk about um, within this Cha Ching. I did have an item that I sold that was returned back to me because the buyer's address wasn't correct. So that happens every now and then. Um, for a while there, I felt like it was happening a lot where um, people don't have their right address listed on in their eBay, um, you know, accounts, and I just never fully understood how exactly that happens unless you know they they moved and they forgot to put in their new address or what have you um but yeah so it came back and you know i just refunded them and relisted relisted the item so um that was really the only kind of like issue associated with um the items within this cha -ching. um but as far as eBay goes, they did a fix. I know in my last Cha-Ching I was complaining about the app not working properly. That has been fixed, thank goodness. Um, so everything is running smoothly as far as, you know, listing and stuff goes. Um, I feel like sales are doing pretty good. Um, knock on wood, my sales currently are at the highest they have ever been. Um, I definitely, you know, I'm going on like two years now since I quit my job and I've been doing eBay full time for this is like my second year now. Um, I quit right before the pandemic started. I quit my job right before the pandemic started. Um, and I was so worried that, oh my gosh, this was not the right time to quit my job. But I had no idea, you know what I mean? Um, but it all worked out fine and like I said since I have so much time um, to focus on like scaling up my eBay business it's been making me be able to continuously raise my numbers because I didn't have the time and the motivation when I was working when I was doing it part-time it's like you know you're exhausted after working a full-time job 
So, you know, I thankfully have been doing really well and sales have been doing really well. I've gotten to the point, and you guys have watched me grow, um, you know, I've been selling on eBay for a long time, like, you know, way before I ever had a YouTube channel. I'm talking about back when I was, like, fresh out of high school, I had been selling on eBay. Um, back when I lived with my parents, um, eBay paid for my car, eBay paid for a new computer. I mean, it paid for a lot of my stuff when I was younger, because I was, I was making bank back then, too. Um, so, you know, it's, it's interesting to see and how far I've grown because even like when I first started making um, YouTube videos like you know yard sale footage videos when I first started this channel I was still in that mindset of you know I was afraid to ship breakable items so I was I was really only looking for certain things I was into selling purses and name brand clothes designer brands um, you know, high-end makeup and skincare and stuff like that, and those are the things that I tended to look for. So I would look past anything breakable, anything large, stuff like that. So I was pretty much leaving all of that money just sit on the table because I wasn't educated in it and I was, you know, afraid to ship. So I have come such a long way. None of that stuff scares me anymore. I have gained so much knowledge with other things. Like that's why I say like I don't have a niche. Like I I will sell absolutely anything. It doesn't matter what it is. Like we're just going to take a chance and try and sell it kind of thing. And you know, it has it has been working out for me. So I definitely feel like, you know, if you are still maybe in that mindset of being afraid to ship breakable items or afraid to ship large items and stuff like that to, you know, take a chance, put your foot in that water, it, it, it'll start to feel warm right away. You'll get used to it. But it's that first initial like dip, you know, to like get yourself um, to, to do it type of thing. Uh, but yeah, so since all of that, you know, I've been able to scale up um, what I've been doing and, you know, things are going really good. I learned so much. I'm still learning. I learn, I say it all the time, I'm learning something new every single day. Um, it's just, it's impossible to know everything. So, you know, when I'm at yard sales and like sometimes, you know, you guys watch the footage video, you might see something that I look past because I'm not knowledgeable about, you know, a certain item yet. So it's nice when I see those comments, so then like, you know, I can take a look and be like, oh, okay, well, if I ever see that again, then, you know, I'll be on the lookout for it type of thing. So it just, you know, goes to show you that, you know, it's just a constant learning experience, uh, but it's fun. It's so much fun and I'm having a lot of fun. So you guys had to let me know um, what you thought of this cha-ching video. Um, and yeah, how things are going for you. Let me know how things are going for you. And if you have any questions or anything like that, let me know down in the comments. Um, like I said, what cha-ching number was this? We are on 80, 85. I should do something special when I get to my 100th cha-ching video. I don't know what. If anyone has suggestions, let me know. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will see you next time.